falling into the abyss. Thanks so much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute, wait. This is for you. This is an r, &R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's all right, I didn't do much really. It's fine, take it. Come on, just look at its big happy smile. You can display it at home or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day, and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking, and you love smiling, too. I just don't understand why you're so... positive. I've never met anyone like you before. Sorry, I'm not very good with words. But since you say so, I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Oh, great timing, you two. Who was that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abine. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed and we made our way back here. There were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. It's hard navigating through them all. No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that it'll bring up some unhappy memories. But if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. At first, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child and asked all the same things everyone else did about rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. Eh, gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did! Big time! You're in luck, Yoimiya! You'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru! Really? <laughs> That's great! If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? They respond to wishes? Huh, I've never heard that one before. So it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> In that case, I was born ready. Don't you worry. Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, she's adding her own spin onto this. If that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is... <laughs> it's a secret for now. Yeah, and 
and we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. More places to see? All right, let's go. Wow, is that what you two were talking about? Amazing, it's huge. Uh, wait, it's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax, it's completely still, and it's been ages. That's true, it's green from all the overgrowth on it. All right, let's go. <laughs> now this will make for quite the story. <clears throat> I was wondering, have you seen your brother yet? Yep, but he said that he'd meet us at the end of our journey. And then he left. I see. It seems he has his own things to worry about. But it's all right. At least you were able to talk. How did he look? Was he doing well? Had he changed in any way? Well, according to her, nothing's really changed. She's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. What a great view! I just want to shout at the top of my lungs! Yeah! And even though we might not be viewing the meteor shower from here, it's a good place to practice! Oops! I was having too much fun and almost forgot about that! Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So, they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa! That many? That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories. And these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes, because wishes carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. Yuimiya! Hmm, well said! And here Paimon thought you needed practice! Huh? Uh, that was fine? You both understand what I'm trying to say? Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side. But there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If 
I didn't take the step. It's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Yoimiya. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Yep, and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when Avin was showing me around. He seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. Uh, that's true. Let's go! <laughs> I wish we could fly over. What are we gonna do? If we really ask the blacksmith, he's gonna give us funny looks for sure. <sighs> You're right. Paimon will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paimon felt bad about keeping Yoimiya in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. Yep, that's why we're doing all this. <laughs> <laughs>